Morning, worlds. Wet out there. Still smiling, though, and still happy. When it's a rainy day, hard to go out and do the very basics I need to do because it's like very wet outside today. So we do baking and things. Um, yes, you've seen different things. Today, it's all right. Well, I've got stuff in the oven and Christ knows what else. So it's kind of I'm actually using the oven today um, because it's just quicker and easier. Uh, it's a bit too warm to have the log burner on. Um, so I'm making some soda bread. Quite a different way of doing it. Um, I've made some cookies. They're cooling down. You'll see them later. They look good. Um, but what I'm going to do is we have, I kind of, work things out and you just find find what is usual this is an old festival cup but it's got a pint and a half pint measure so all i do is i put in basically a pint of um plain flour well actual fact i think i might have made a mistake i think i've used self-raising flour hey ho oh excuse me for that one Bit of a hectic morning this is, and guess what? For once, I'm going to be like all those wonderful YouTube people. I shall put it there. Yeah, look, you can see it now. I'm making a coffee. Yes, a spoonful of coffee makes the medicine go down. Medicine go down. Don't even know where I put the lid now. I'm that excited to show you how to make a cup of coffee. Look, coffee goes in the cup, hot water. Oh, look at that. And a dash of milk. I don't have sugar because I'm sweet enough without. So there we go. You finally sent it. Leave that out to need it. You finally sent it. Kevin's made coffee. Right, according to the statistics, that's now going to make me a YouTube megastar because anybody who's important has to show you how to make coffee, and I've shown you. Anyway, back to reality. Right, so, I've used self raising flour, so I might take it a bit. Mm, we'll see how we go, because that's my mistake. Um, I, didn't, I didn't read the bag, didn't put my glasses on. And that, but then what I do is with the point of that normally, but I'm only going to put in about half because the self-raising flour will have a form of bicarbonate or soda in anyway, and I'm just going to put about which would be normally one for one pint of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda. And I'm using just over. Just over half, a little bit hit and miss, and then what we do is put that back before we get lost, and then we're going to get a little pinch of salt, that's a heavier pinch, but again, predominantly that is to taste. And then you can use various different things. You use normal sugar, brown sugar, or honey. It's the sweetening aspect, which it actually goes in just standard loaves. It's, it's making like a standard sort of bread. But I'm going to use one. That's a demerara sugar that I'm using um, with that little bit of a sweetness thing. Mix those together. It really is quite a simple process. And once you've got once you've got those relatively well mixed together, none of it's rocket science. Um, get the measuring jug and put in half the equivalent of milk. So it's basically two measures of flour to one measure of milk. 
Let me find get the spoon out of there. Put that back in there. Now people use all sorts of wooden spoons. I find it's, it's, it takes a bit longer using a little metal spoon, little teaspoon. It's so easy to clean. When that stuff gets sticky, it sticks to everything. So it's easier to clean off. Make a little whirl in the bottom. Mix it in. There we go. Put it all in there. Right. It really is that simple. So we got whatever measures you want to do, really. I mean, for a single person, two people, five people, ten people. You just kind of work it out for yourself. I found that for me, having the pint measure, that works out about right for me on my own um, as a single person. And I can make myself two very small or very large rolls. Depends on which way you want to be looking at it. But... And all I'm doing now, this is the hardest bit, just beating it all up, mixing it all in, getting it all to blend together. All right. And it is this quick and easy. Yeah? Don't be so bloody lazy and going, oh, I don't get a loaf of bread down a shop. You know? No. It doesn't take long. Yes, I, I do. I go and buy. I go and buy um, bread from the local shop and all this. Stuff. And of course I do. I'm not bloody. No, I'm not a Neanderthal. I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll need a bit of that. Let me put that up there out of the way. Mixing it up. It always ends up a little bit. This is one putting a bit more in here. It's always a little bit sticky, so you have to bear with us on this one. It's coming together. I don't want to get too dry. I found before, if you get too dry, there's a whole lot of it, it don't seem to cook too good. But what we're going to do. I think I'm going to have to put in quite a bit more. As a fact, I'm going to see, I'm going to put a bit more in here. But you just got to get it. I mean, like I've, I've said before, I'm no Jamie Oliver. But that is almost there. So... I use this. This is just an old tray that I use clean because it's a nice flat surface. And I'll just get that out of there. Scrape them. Scrape the rest out of my fingers. It's a messy old job, this bit. But no, I mean. The way I see it, what else am I going to do on a rainy day? And uh, how can I save a few quid? It's not rocket science, if you ask me. Can't be if I'm involved. But there we go. I mean, it really is quite simple. It's a very simple but very effective way of making some fresh bread this one oh yeah i'm making a bit of a mess with this one like i said to you i'm not i'm not jamie oliver right so all we're going to do now is that is pretty much cooked Cooked, no, cooked. That to me is pretty much ready to go. All I'm going to do 
Wasn't my hands off. But no, you know what I mean, all I'm doing at the end of the day is yeah, I'm trying to be frugal, obviously, that's how I live. Um learning to eat healthier as well. I mean, as much as you know it's more, you know what's going into that. I mean even reputable loads of bread, if you look at the ingredients be quite scary what goes in there and I just prefer to try and eat healthier um, and in a frugal way and I mean I don't want now need aha I'm gonna cheat I'm gonna see if I can do it with this what I'm gonna do again Oh, you see that? That nearly went, nearly went, nearly went sideways on me. Downside to having just a small kitchen area. Right, all I'm going to do is a little bit of flour in the bottom of that. Just a little baking tin, and there we go. And that go in there and what I'm doing is just roughly patting that just just gently patting it down nothing major to write home about and that must quickly check because I'm on a busy run today um anyway oh yeah coffee Good for you. Maybe not quite to the level that I <coughs> I do it. Move this out of the way for a minute. Hello girls. Come on, sit down there and I'll give you a treat. Come on, sit down. I know it's wet, I know it's horrible, but you don't keep sitting there and looking at going getting treats just for the hell of it. But being that you're behaving yourselves. Yeah. Oh waggy waggy tail. I don't know if you can see her waggy tail. Anyway, come on in. Come on. Balance and act to that little one, eh? She's just gorgeous, she is. She's just gorgeous. So, anyway, yeah. So, basically, that's what it's looking like. Nothing fancy. But then, right. I could, sorry to say nothing fancy. I could get a bit of egg, a bit of egg wash over the top, nice little shiny top. Maybe get some sesame seeds, make it all nice and pretty, all this, that and the other. That's going to be a basic piece of bread. Put a little bit of egg wash on there and a bit of sesame seed on there and you saw both of them side by side in the shop. Which one would you go for? Probably the one with the egg wash and the sesame seed because it looked pretty out the eyes. Yeah, they're probably charging you 50p more for that. What you're really wanting is bread. It doesn't have to look fancy. It's not fancy in this world, that's for certain. But we must move one. That kettle needs to come out of the way for a minute because I've got to check the oven. Because I've got all oh, that go down. Ah, that's a bit. That's oh, that is. That's a bit warm. Not quite cooked. Um, it will be in a second. And then all I'm doing is in the tin into my oven in the mid middle of my oven. I'm doing that on on here, which is on this one. That's gets gas mark seven. I would say if I'd done a domestic house, probably five, might be six. This one's just a little bit different. Don't know why I was old. A bit like me, really. So, right, we'll just have a quick 
just a quick wipe down of this surface before I get on with the next bit. And hopefully that's cooled down enough. Not quite. Go on, go and sit down, girls. Go and lay down, please. Go and lay down, please. Go and lay down. Good girl. She must hang around my feet when food's about. I think you find out that's what happens with all dogs. But here we go. I'm going to have to leave them on there for the moment so they're a little bit warm. They've not long come out of the oven. I'm a little bit excited about these. Slightly, slightly different recipe, which is why, why I'm not doing this right. There we go. Below my my um, winter cookies one. Brilliant. And with that, I've upped the ante. These un technical department gave me a bit of advice on this one and this is the first time i've tried them so proper crush test dummy instead of using suet which i i use normally um she suggested coconut oil and so working on the the basic basic ingredients of that it's the same as if you look back, she'll put a link up there, please. Thank you. Um, we're using coconut oil, and I should excuse you for one minute because I can't remember. It's been a little bit busy this morning, so I've actually had to write a few bits down just to remind myself. But what I've used on these ones, my own little variant of it, is we've, uh, we started off with same as anything else, two, two parts oats and one part plain flour. And then instead of the one cup of suet, use one cup of coconut oil. Then hot water to taste, but prior to be putting the melted coconut fat in um, and hot water, what I've done, I added some honey, some brown sugar, some toasted almonds, some dried cranberries, and dried mixed fruit. And to give it a little bit of a chocolate treat, twist, I just want the sweetness, some chocolate powder. Now, this should be, in theory, absolutely delicious. And you can see how they've come out. I'll put it up to the camera there for you so you can sort of see things a bit more. Look at how that is. You can't odds that. Oh. oh. Tell you what. It, it, does, it does smell good. It really does smell good. Oh, my God. Right, here we go. Taste test. These ones, the same. Not long come out of the oven. I've kind of timed doing this video for you the soda bread which is what i want to do i've got the cookies in the oven first getting them down to maximize the use of the oven to warrant putting it on but to also just yeah speed up the process but here we go Oh, guys. I'm lost the words. This. Oh, my God. Put it this way. I can't see them lasting long. They taste absolutely amazing. Um, 
I know about the sharpness, but it, the cranberry in there, and we've got the mixed fruit. I mean, the, the, they've got the crunchiness because we're up. Possibly could have just slightly too long. Possibly. A little bit on the crunchy side. Um, I didn't quite get the the binding element of it as good as I'd hoped for, but it's the first time I've tried it. So this is my first one, but I would have a little bit more on the binders. Remember, there's no such thing as fail. And that's not a failure, that's a lesson. What a beautiful lesson. That's like genuinely bloody amazing. All the ingredients are there. If we get round to it, it's not a good apartment. Ha ha, I've got a trick on this one. In the description below, um, I'll get the technical department to put in the ingredients that I did made for those. They are absolutely stunning. Cheap, cheerful, healthy, and so very, very tasty. And I've quickly got to, to get this one out, so I know this one's done. Got to let it cool down. Can't do anything with this one to show you. But this one here, not just for dogs. I've done those that that one. Similar thing, but primarily it's as a dog treat, but edible for me as well. Because so many people said when I done the dog treats last time, I would eat them, and I thought, well, yeah, there's nothing in there us humans can't eat. So I got to thinking. This comes from you guys. Yeah, you're giving me the inspiration. So in this one, let me put my eyes on. For the dogs, the peanut butter, and then the, uh, a ratio of two oats to one plain flour. And what I put in there as well, I did research this one. I wasn't 100% sure, but I researched it. Because cranberries are good for you, for you know, digestive system or something like that. And they are okay for dogs. Obviously not in excess. So in that one, which I'll quickly grab you. Yep, that's what's in that one. A few, few, few toasted almonds, a few cranberries, peanut butter, the oats, suet, flour, hot water. I baked it off and stuff like that in, in there. I'm just gonna, when that cools down, Take it out, cut it into bite-sized chunks. When it's cool enough, put it in a tin. I've got two girls that will do anything for those. There you go. So we've got the, that's a bit cooler now. There's my cookies, which are truly amazing. And they do taste and smell beautiful. Honest to God people you really want to be trying these ones mm. i can honestly say i've excelled myself of that one never have i tried cooking them before oh. that's truly the first time so what's come out is a surprise to you it is me but bloody hell And I'm just checking the oven, but I'm not going to hang around. I'll see if I can get a still picture of it. Well, those cookies, definitely, 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 definitely worth doing more. Um, and here we go. I'm just having a quick look. No, we're getting close. I'm going to... I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat. I know you should never do this, so I'm probably going to fail now. But you can see it's starting to that is starting to firm up and it's starting to rise up and that give it another ten minutes. I've got fresh bread as well. 
there you go all made with these two hands cheap ingredients you know what's going into it you know it's healthy for you so i'm being frugal i'm being healthy mindful to the planet if you really want to go down that road so i'm not buying stuff that's been shipped all here there and everywhere it's been made here in my little kitchen in my little hut anyway guys this one is yeah cooking with kev got to be done on it you take care please people keep the comments coming in i love them i genuinely genuinely do love those comments and the usual bits down the bottom there um the boss gives me a rake if i don't say that sort of stuff and then at the end of it is we got the chicken logo which right at the end will be up in this corner hopefully <laughs> we'll never find out soon enough but you take care people love and respect to all of you please 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 try this recipe i'll get uh, technical department to put it in the description below please like it's, it's beautiful it's beautiful like subscribe all that stuff take care everybody keep smiling be happy you know it confuses the enemy ta-da for now